has actually missed its last eight three-pointers. Do you go for three? Do you go for two? Lots of time remaining with 42 and a half seconds remaining. Plenty of options here, but if I'm the Warriors, I try to go for a two-for-one opportunity here with 42.5 left on the clock. But I got to get something going towards the basket. And if they give me two, then I have that two-for-one opportunity back at the other end with a, a good defensive stop. Yeah, best shot possible for Golden State. They can always rely on their three-pointers on the next possession. Curry standing on the right-hand corner now comes outside for the inbounds from Livingston. Being played by Ariza. Curry on the drive. He up short. And a push in the back, sending Draymond Green to the free throw line. They may want to look at that again. They may want to look at that play again. It looked as if a Warrior player pushed in the back on the rebound. Wow, just a missed layup here by... Ah, that is good call right there. Even though Livingston kind of shoved Paul, Paul did shove well, this Green. This is a good foul. Green, even though he's shooting 80% during the free throws, he's not a great free throw shooter. And now you have that two for one opportunity. Yes, yes. That I was talking about. Now you just need a stop at the defensive end. Draymond Green, three for three at the line. That's a two point differential. Goes one for two. 35 seconds to play. This is when Harden is so good at getting the contact and the foul. 10 on the shot clock. Harden played by Thompson. 5 on the shot clock. Harden played by Curry. Goes to the step back. Came up short. Rebound green. Durant goes it across. Final seconds. Here's Thompson for the tie. Tucker. And Paul came together, and that way do it. The Houston Rockets in desperation. With a 94-92 victory, and now the officials are over at the replay review. Chris Paul is trying to walk to the locker room, <laughs> get to the locker room. That's the number one rule in sports. Get to the locker room as soon as possible if you have the lead. But they may be looking to see if there's a foul before the before the buzzer occurred. Foul on Sean Livingston. Now, I know everyone's going to question Steve Kerr. Should he have called a timeout? They've been in this situation plenty of times. What could you possibly draw up when you've got Durant, yes. Clay Thompson, yeah. and Steph Curry on the floor? And why would you want the defense even set up to be able to set players, Reg? Yeah, agree, agree with you. But they are checking out whether Sean Livingston committed the foul before time ran out. Well, I know one fact, Mark, and that's Houston doesn't care. They want to go to the locker room. If the foul was on the other team, they'll say, wait, let them have it. We're up two. Game over. And this could potentially be the first playoff victory for the Houston Rockets. They were 0 of 7 during the playoffs in this building versus Golden State. How about Houston? A 24 10 run the last 10 and a half minutes. As Golden State led 82 to 70. Harden's having conversations over here with Anthony Joshua. And they are going to put yeah. 0.5. One goes on. You have a foul before the clock goes off. Livingston on ball. Mike Callahan saying before the shot clock expired, 0.5 remains. So uh, Paul with with two shots. And uh, if he has difficulty at the line. Well, the door is open now. Because now you have to make this free throw to make it a three-point advantage. Do you have to make it? Golden State does have a timeout. Yeah, Two. but if it, all it takes is a tip, do you have to make this free throw? Interesting. True, but if they get the rebound quick enough. Well, now you can get a shot off. Absolutely. Golden you State takes that last timeout, and they move to the front court down by three. So... That was a very important call and a very significant review. We'll be right back.
Still nervous about buying a house? A little. Thought I could de-stress with some zen gardening. At least we don't have hey, to worry if you're about watching this insurance. on delay, like, just skip, like, a minute. I can't cut out this commercial. Good to know. Been doing it for years. That's really good to know. I should clean this up. I'll get the dustpan. Behind the golf clubs. Get to know Geico and see how easy homeowners and renters insurance can be. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to leave it all on the mat. Because that's what I do when I get it done so I can do it. Yeah! I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Give your head a Mountain Dew kickstart. Our group of friends has been playing the same game of tag for 30 years. You punched me! It's so much more than a game. It's given us a reason to be in each other's lives. Congratulations, buddy. You're in. Doing great, Anna. Tag. Rated R. June 15th. Couple of possibilities here. There can be a catch and shoot for a tie for Golden State. Or will Houston commit a, a foul as Livingston inbounds. He has Curry. This is for the tie. And that will do it. Had a look. Well, had a great look. Can't get a better one from the best three-point shooter in the game in Curry. Right in front of the Rockets bench. So the Rockets even the series of two and two. Game five back in Houston Thursday night here on TNT. And as uh, you mentioned, Reggie, it's the first ever playoff win for the Rockets at Golden State. They had lost their previous seven here in the Bay Area. There's uh, Steph's mom, Sonia, with the reaction along with.